Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. Today's Christmas Eve, and we're going to do something a little different. Most people don't know that you can make marshmallows from scratch. They're super simple, really easy, and they taste amazing, better than you can imagine. So today, I'm going to show you how. Mm. Let's take a look at the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need a 13 by 9 by 2 inch pan, one cup of powdered sugar, half a cup of light corn syrup, quarter teaspoon of salt, half a cup of warm water, half a cup of cold water, one teaspoon of vanilla, two eggs, and two cups of sugar. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take a big bowl. This really needs to be kind of big because you're going to fluff up all the ingredients and they're going to get really fluffy. Then you're going to pour the half a cup of cold water into the pan and take the three and a half cups of unflavored gelatin and just sprinkle it right on top. It's not going to dissolve right away. That's okay. Just let it sit. And it's going to kind of look funky. All right, so let it sit there while we move on to the next step. And don't do anything with that. Next step is to take a saucepan and fill it with a two cups of sugar, whee, the half a cup of hot water, the half a cup of light corn syrup. Yee, and that gets really gooey. The quarter teaspoon of salt. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to place this on low heat. Do not stir this. I don't care how much you're dying to stir it. Do not stir it, not even once. You're going to let it boil on low heat. It's going to take about 12 minutes. Um, Depending on your elevation, it might take a little bit more, a little bit less. Just keep an eye on it until it boils. It should reach 240 degrees on a candy thermometer. I don't have one, so I just let it boil and it hasn't been a problem. So if you don't have one, don't worry about it. But 240 degrees or just let it boil for a couple minutes. All right, let's go put this on the stove. All right, while that is boiling, I'm going to come over here, take our 9 by 13 by 2 inch pan. And what we're going to do is oil it up a little bit. Whoops, a little too much. Get it all spread out. Get the sides, get the bottom really, really well because you do not want the marshmallows sticking. You want them to come out really easy after they're done. So you don't want too much oil either. So I'm just going to kind of spread it around here. All right. And now the fun part, the powdered sugar. You're going to take this and you're going to sift it over. And I forgot the sifter, so hold on. There we go. Now, you're not going to do the full cup. What you want to do is just take a little bit of it and pour it into the sifter and then leave the rest for later. You'll see what we do with that. Get it on the sides. Get it on the bottom. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it on there and coat it. I'm going to do a little bit more because I really like to coat it. And you can't ever use too much powdered sugar. All right, let's set this aside and do a little bit more prep work while the uh, saucepan is going. We have two eggs. I'm going to take a fairly small bowl. It doesn't have to be too big, too small, just enough to be able to whip up the egg whites. So we're going to separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. And to do that, I find it's easier and uh, kind of a little bit more fun <laughs> to do it in your hands. So let's just break that open. Let all the egg whites go into the bigger bowl and just put it out on your hand like this. There we go. Keeping the egg yolk in your hand. 
and kind of go back and forth, get all the, uh, the whites off of the yolk. There we go. And then plop the egg yolk into a different container. You can use that or you can throw it away. Neil likes to keep them and do something with them later. I don't know what. <laughs> oh, he likes to, to make hollandaise sauce with the egg yolks. And I'm not going to be showing you how to do that because I have no idea. All right. So egg yolks are soaked. I'm going to go wash these gooey hands because you don't want to touch anything after that. Although it is fun. Okay, my sugar mixture has boiled, so I'm going to add it to my water and gelatin mixture and stir to dissolve. Okay, it doesn't have to be completely dissolved, but you do want to get it pretty much all the way dissolved. And now take a mix mixer and stir the mixture <laughs> until it's white, fluffy, and almost tripled in size. Okay, that looks about right. So now I'm going to wash these beaters for our next step. All right, time to beat the egg whites. And these are going to be beaten until they are fluffy and hold a stiff peak. We'll take a look at what a stiff peak looks like once they're done. Let's see. All right, see how it just comes right up and then it doesn't fall down. That's a stiff peak, so those look ready. Beat off the egg whites. Now we're going to take the egg whites, put them into this, and add our vanilla. And then we're just going to beat it all up just until it's mixed. You don't want to overmix it at this point. Add the vanilla and the egg whites. Whoops! And don't make a disaster in your kitchen. They are now all added, and we're going to pour it into our powdered pan. And you want a spatula to help you out here. The 9 by 13 by 2 inch pan is actually kind of important because of the shape and you're going to be cutting them into one inch cubes after they're done, so you want that shape to it. All right, there we are. We're going to sift some powdered sugar on this. About a fourth of a cup worth. You just want a complete dusting of powdered sugar on top of your marshmallows. And then we're going to stick this in the refrigerator. You're going to stick this in the refrigerator, let it firm up for about three hours. So, in case any of you want to get started on this recipe, uh, we're going to go ahead and release this, let you get started, and then we'll be back shortly with the finished product. Geek Free Fast Credits.